Watson with a new baseball, the wind and the payoff pitch on the way. Call, strike three in his opportunities this year. The 0-1 pitch, mounts on the infield. Third baseman charging, he scoops. He's gonna try to go to first and everybody is safe. It's an infield swinging butt hit for Jeremy Johnson and an RBI. Pitch on the way, called, strike three. One, two pitch again. Caught him looking inside corner. Trailer thought it was too far inside. He hopped out of the way and flinched. Stretch by Bennett, pitch in the dirt outside. Runner's gonna try to score, runner heads for second and they're both safe. Short lead, 3-0, called a strike. Wow. Holland is, no, we have, what do we have here? We have a balk, I think. Second base umpire, Jeremy Dupree, he came up and waved the signal, so a balk. And Paul, that's gonna score a run. Stretch, pitch, driven, left center field. Left fielder on the run, looking, reaching up, and he can't get there, it's in the canyon. One run will score, here's Holland. Another man rounding them, they'll hold him at third, and Auburn will have runners at second and third in a tie game. It's 4-4 on an RBI double by Brendan Venner. 2-2 from the lefty, call strike three. Malcheski swing and a miss, he threw. Looked like a fastball right by him. Second strikeout for Malcheski. Running out of opportunities here for Memphis. Stretch, pitch, bounce to third. Anthony gloves it on top of the bag, throws and gets him. And if we hadn't already given up our defensive play of the game, that would be it. Stretch, pitch, driven, base hit, left field, Auburn leads. Five to four, RBI single for Luke Jarvis. Trying to close it out, swing and a miss, strike three. The lead at Plainsman Park, pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Auburn wins, Welby Malcheski comes on to retire. Memphis and Auburn has come back for the sixth time to win this game as they got three in the eighth and another one in the ninth.